Hi right, YouTube, um, this is my, I'm going to review the Steelman wireless chassis here. I got it just the other day, I used it twice, and it, um, it stopped working. Comes in a decent box, you think it's all good and everything. The transmitters work okay. I don't care for the cheesy shrink tubing over the RCA. It's not even sealed fully. Quality's not there really. Um, here are the transmitters. The switch is extremely difficult to move. Very hard to move. Each transmitter takes four batteries. AAA. Well, it failed to work uh, after the second day that I had it, and customer service says, Oh, you just need to replace all the batteries. It'll turn on, but it won't pick up all the sensors because it's probably been sitting for a long time on the shelf. Somewhere overseas, maybe. I don't know. This is what they gave me. So, I went and I bought all new batteries, mind you. Each transmitter takes four AAA, AAA batteries, and the main unit takes six AA batteries. I replaced them all, so I spent money on batteries, um, and I also, you know, spent money on the unit, like 200 bucks for the unit, and so I'm spending more money on something that should be ready to go. So I replaced all the batteries, and I just had this gut feeling that that wasn't going to fix it, and of course it didn't. So, here's the unit. This is what's inside your Steelman wireless chassis ear. This is what you are paying over $200 for. not much to it. And on top of that, it doesn't even work right. Second second day doesn't work. Let me hook it up and I'll show you what it does. This is what it does. Here, let me turn off the big light here. But this is what it does. All, all these LEDs, all these LEDs come on, and it doesn't go through its pickup cycle to pick up any of the transmitters. They just all come on. And that's what I'm getting. What's interesting is if if I go to if I warm it up, if I heat it up with a space heater a little bit, it should work. So here we go. We'll try that. Keep the light off so you guys can see it. And I got a space heater right here. I'm gonna heat it up.
and we'll heat up the front side, and I'll heat up the back side. I heat up. And this piece of equipment has been a real letdown. And Steelman won't even uh, won't even pay to have it shipped back to them for them to uh, take care of it. Just because if you buy from a different from a different vendor, they won't really warranty their product. Again, brand new. All right, let's try. And there it goes. Heat it up. And there it goes. It went through its cycle. But there's still a problem. Here's a transmitter, transmitter one. Transmitter one, I'll turn it on. It's on. Transmitter one. It's clipped to a toolbox here. It's clipped to metal. It's on. I have this. It's off. I crank it up. And I'll wiggle this. And you should you should hear something, but you don't. You don't. But if I take the unit and I press right here. I'm wiggling that clip. And now you're hearing. There's there's something wrong. There's something wrong back here. Could be how this gets soldered in, I don't know. But the unit only works when it's warm. If it cools down back to room temperature, it fails to work again. Real nice. I'll be back. I'll try to. I'll take that plate off and see what happens and see what's behind there. Stay tuned. Alright, that's what's behind that shield. And it is obvious somebody did a piss poor um, job at soldering. It's become loose. I'm trying to get it to focus here. These flip camera things aren't too good. <laughs> So, please excuse, but that's what's behind there. It's a Toshiba part, but I'll show you what happens. This part right here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put pressure on it 
when I turn the unit on and you'll see the unit will come alive and actually react. So right now I'm on channel 2. I don't have a channel 2 transmitter on but what I do is if I press it I should just get static. And I do. If I switch it to the first uh, transmitter, which I do have connected to my toolbox still, squeeze it, and I'll wiggle the clamp on the toolbox. And it works. I let it go, I wiggle the clamp, nothing. Switch number two, nothing. Switch number one, and it works. Thanks a lot for your high quality product, Steelman. Alright, back to the Steelman unit. Um, I just reflowed. This guy, which is the Toshiba chip. I reflowed those pins and now it works. We'll demonstrate. I'll turn the unit off, turn it on, and what I'm doing is I'm just I'm tapping. And it's working. Yeah. Thanks, Steelman, for making me have to buy more stuff in order to fix your tool.